I'm here at the circus with Ryan Thompson. Ryan, can you tell us about your program here? Uh, we are teaching a program that is the first time for this type of class. Uh, we're teaching a freehand black and gray realistic or monochromatic realistic class. Um, freehand optional, you can do it with a stencil too, but the main focus of the class is um, single color use and lighting and smooth blending. We really teach the students how to uh, really get control of their paint uh, without the use of like stencils or shields or anything like that to, in order to tune their paint to work for them so that they don't have to be distracted. They can just create on the fly and, and react to their painting. So uh, basically we focus on photorealistic monochromatic stuff. Show us a quick... Beautiful work. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. And how do people get a hold of your social media wise? Uh, social media, I do Instagram. Um, I'm a full time tattoo artist, so it's Ryan Townsend Tattoo. Um, at Ryan Townsend Tattoo on Instagram. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I also do Facebook. You can find me, uh, Ryan Townsend Artist, or just Ryan Townsend on Facebook. Uh, although Instagram is probably better. And what advice do you have for those just wanting to get into airbrushing, painting? My advice is to first buy an airbrush. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good start. <laughs> um, I think if you buy the right supplies, like if you get an Iwata Eclipse, some Createx paint, um, just start spraying it, get used to the motions, and once you get used to it, uh, find some artists that you really looked up to, and. Um, get close to them and and study and learn and, and main thing is don't get frustrated uh, if you're just getting into airbrushing you're going to have a hard time in the first few days it's just inevitable that's how it starts you're learning a brand new tool with brand new muscles that you've never used before and uh, so the only way to get better at it is to stick with it once once you get the motion down once you learn how to do it the sky's the limit. You can do everything from absolute photorealism to um, some faux finishing to, it, it doesn't matter. That It's the most versatile, versatile tool, I think, that we have today. Aside from maybe digital art, but even, even that I love it more than digital art. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah.